fantasy animation, like high fantasy animation, wasn't really huge yet. I mean, we're talking so eighty three. Uh, he Man and the Masters of the Universe is like two weeks before the beginning of Dungeons and Dragons. But Thundar, of course, which you know a lot about Thundar because yeah. you worked on every single episode. The end credits you see on Thundar are everybody who worked on the show in a writing capacity as of the time the end credits were made. And I only wrote a couple episodes of Thundar. I did not. But my name's in every episode. Yeah. I also wrote the opening of Thundar, the... Uh, the narr- narr- narration where Dick Tufeld, who I actually cast, tells the the uh, beginning, you know, backstory yeah. and the opening titles. That is one of the darkest uh, cartoon openings of all time because it's like you know post apocalyptic. I mean, we were talking about them for children, yeah. right? The children yeah. are watching this, yeah. and it's like yeah. this is. Yeah. I was involved in the meetings where Thundar was created. Uh, Joe Ruby had a lot to do with it. My friend Steve Gerber had an awful lot to do with it. Yeah. Steve probably had more to do with it than anyone else. I think I named Thundar the character. Uh, I know Marty Pasco named Ukla the mock the character in there. Mm-hmm. And I think Steve named Princess Ariel. And Alex Toth did the original designs of them. And then when he wasn't available to continue that, I recommended Jack Kirby who came in and did the rest of the designs. But Thundar was another, another show that I get way more credit for than I deserve. Uh, it's like, you know, I stepped, I had other work. I stepped away from it. Okay. And uh, I was doing, um, I was supposed to write half of Thundar's. The, the that first season order, I think, was for 13 or 16. I, I was supposed to write half of them. And Steve Gerber was going to write the other half. And then Steve got very busy and I got very busy. So I just had to turn loose of Thundar. You have, sometimes you have too much work. There's an episode. Maybe you can help me solve this mystery. There's an episode. I mean, that was like 80, 81, 1981. There's an episode where in the background, you know, the, the painted background, there's a like a like a marquee or a poster that says Revenge of the Jedi, which wasn't out. That's Return of the Jedi is 1983. And I'm like, how did this end up in a 1981 I, show? I never heard that before <laughs> so I'll, I send, no, I'll send you a no screenshot help. of it because it's in there i'm like well this is like two years before like either somebody on the inside must have known something the question that I, the question that i get a lot about thundar is on the backgrounds you frequently see xam if you look at the backgrounds on the on walls it says xam frequently and people want to know what that's a code for what that means that's the name of the animation studio the, the animation um <laughs> The first batch of stuff, I don't know at what point they stopped. A lot of the subcontracting was to a company called Ahern Marshall. Two guys named Ahern and Marshall had a little animation studio, I think in Utah someplace, and they did a lot of animation. And then a bunch of their people got mad at them and broke off and started a new company competing with them called XAM, former Ahern Marshall people, and they ended up doing a lot of the animation for Thundar. Gotcha. They tagged That's what's it. on there. And I keep yeah. getting every year or so I get a, a email from someone who says, I think I figured out the code with that. And they've got some theory <laughs> that has that has nothing whatsoever to do with X means 10. No, I don't know about the return of the Jedi. I know yeah. the, the I know the you know the lightsabers in there were Star Wars had preceded that because sure. the lightsabers yeah. were kind of stolen from that. 